Illustrator Jane Porter's work on animals is fun, quirky, and visually rich. Textures, vivid colors, playful compositions, as well as a careful observation of animals, has helped her to create a body of work appealing to both children and adults. Her exhibition Compendium in 2009 at the Old Sweet Shop Gallery was sold out, and her limited edition prints continues to sell. I met Jane at her studio in southwest London to ask her about her work and influences. Hello, Jane. Hello, Joe. Um, mm, tell us a bit about your illustration background. Where did you study? Well, I did a master's degree at Kingston in illustration and animation, and before that I did a foundation at Wimbledon School of Art, and years before that I'd done a geography degree. What inspires you most? I'd say primarily the natural world, wildlife, animals, plants particularly, and um, everyday life. I get ideas for stories from everyday life, and I'm also very interested in maps. Which artists or illustrators do you admire or are inspired by? I'm very inspired by the artists Paul Clay and Max Ernst. And amongst illustrators, going back to when I was very little, I used to love Richard Scarry and Beatrix Potter. And I also love the work of David McKee, Satoshi Kitamura, and uh, Sarah Dyer, Emily Gravitt, Mimi Gray, Oliver Jeffers, a lot of very exciting illustrators publishing work today. What are some of your favourite objects in your studio? I've got an object that I'm very, very fond of by an artist called Cliff Piercy, and it's a leveret, which is a baby hair, and Cliff collects um, interesting bits and pieces from car boot sales and makes them into wonderful creations. The leveret is actually made out of an old type case from a type foundry, and um, I find it very useful to put little bits and pieces, postcards and things in. When did you first become interested in illustration? Well, going back to when I was very young, as young as I can remember, I always liked looking at picture books. And um, there's one I'd like to show you that I was given when I was probably five years old. It's called Modern Tales and Fables, and it's illustrated by a Czech illustrator called Václav Sivko. And it's just, I think, without me realising it at the time, it's really influenced me. I want to show you this page, which I always remember very clearly. It's a, a boy who plants his grandfather and grows a tree covered in grandfathers. I just think... It's got a great surreal sense of humour and really very strong visual style that uh, I think influenced me a lot. Why do you mostly do animals? Well, first of all, because I love animals, but also I find them very interesting. I like to study the way they move, the shapes of their bodies, and um, I just think there's so many variations in the natural world, you never run out of material. How process-oriented is your work and how would you describe your creative process? Well, my creative process always begins with drawing. I really like to fill a lot of sketchbooks with ideas and draw from life, especially drawing animals from life. And then I translate those into illustrations using either an ink pen, an Indian ink, or I quite often use a stick to draw with. And then I collage it all together digitally using different textures that I've either created using... A uh, rubber stamp or um, paint or sometimes photographic textures that I kind of collect with my camera and um, compose it all together in layers as if it was a screen print but using the computer. Do you have any exciting upcoming projects? Well I'm working on three picture books at the moment which are going to be published in 2012 and I've also got a commission to do a mural in a hospital which is very exciting. And um, a longer term project I've got in mind is I would really like to do an exhibition about the River Wandle, which is my local river, and that would be slightly moving away from my children's work, but um, yeah, something I've got in the back of my mind that'll come up one day. And finally, do you have any pets? I do. I have two pet rabbits, and uh, obviously I do spend a lot of time drawing them. Well, thank you very much, Jane. Thank you, Joe.